Hi guys, welcome back to Fly High Balloons Creations. Welcome everyone. My name is Deborah. If you're new here, we are so glad to have you. And please consider subscribing to our channel if you like and find the content helpful. In this tutorial, I will guide you through on how to create this stunning balloon column. Whether you are preparing for a party, event, or simply want to add some flair to your space, this DIY project is perfect for beginners and experienced balloon artists alike. So let's dive into this easy tutorial and create your own stunning balloon column. Materials needed are a balloon pump. I highly recommend using an electrical pump. Trust me guys, it will save you lots of time and energy. You will need 32 11 inch or 12 inch balloons and 24 five inch balloons. Colors of your choice, I will be using all Sempertex brand balloons. 16 fashion pink 11 inches, 12 five inches, eight fashion white 11 inches, six five inches, eight reflex silver 11 inches, and six five inches. You will need a balloon sizer box. It is very important that your balloons are properly and equally sized. That's the biggest key to a professional look. For the topper, you will need a 24 or 36 inch foil or latex balloon. I will be using this 36 inch grad foil balloon for my topper. Last but not least, you will need a 260 Q balloon or screen to attach your topper to the column. I first will begin by inflating two pink 11 inch balloons, one white and one silver, and size them down to eight inches by pressing them up against the eight inch hole on my balloon sizer box and slowly release the air until they just fit through and tie them off. I then tied the two pink balloons together, making a duplet in my primary colors. I will do the same thing with the white and silver balloons, tie them together, making another duplet in my secondary colors. I will bring both duplets together, taking one balloon from each duplet, twist them together, making a quad of four balloons. I will repeat these steps until I have created two more sets of these quads. This is how our quad should look when placed onto the stand. It's very important to keep the primary colors next to each other. Now I will inflate two pink 11 inch balloons, 
one white and one silver and size them down to six inches, making a quart of six inch balloons. I will repeat these steps until I have created four more sets of these six inch quads. Repeating the exact steps, inflating two pink five inch balloons, one white, one silver, and size them down to four inches, making a quad or four inch balloon. I will repeat these steps until I have created five more sets of these four inch quads. Tip guys, to avoid your balloons from popping and deflating quickly when exposed to outdoor heat or sunlight, you will first overinflate the balloons and release all of the air and overinflate them again and size them down to your desired size and then release some air until the balloons are slightly smaller than your desired size. Under inflate balloons should feel soft with a bit of a give when squeezed. Now that all the cords are created, we will need a structure to build our column on. I will be using my five feet balloon stand. That's actually a floor lamp that I purchased from Walmart for about 10 bucks. It comes with a sturdy base and five of these poles, but for this project, I only will be using four of them. It's super easy to assemble. We are just going to screw one pole onto the base and screw the others onto each other.
for high traffic areas or outdoor events, I highly recommend using weight plates or any other type of weights. We will first start with our six inch quad, slide the balloons onto the pole between one of the primary color and one of the secondary color. Swipe their position to secure them on the pole, gently press down on them so that they are all set nice and flat against the base. One of the primary colors should be on one side of the pole and the other on the other side. Next, we are going to grab our eight inch quad and place the silver on top of the pink and the pink on top of the silver. Swipe their position, gently press down on them to make sure everything is nice and snug that we cannot see the pole between the balloons. Now we are going to grab our six inch quad, place the silver on top of the pink and the pink on top of the silver. Swipe their position and press down on them. Now that our first layer is created, we are going to add on top of it three sets of our four inch quads. You can check halfway through to see if you're doing it correctly. You should see the spiral forming. And we are just going to repeat the exact same steps like we did with our first layer. First start with the six inch quad, second, eight inch quad, third, six inch quad, and fourth, follow it up with three sets of our four inch quads. And we are just going to repeat these steps until we have reached our desired column height. I place this balloon onto the pole to prevent the balloons from popping and it also helps to secure the balloons onto the pole. Remember to periodically step back and assist the overall shape and balance of the column as you go. To inflate the foil balloon, I use my hand pump to open up the valve and use my electrical pump to fully inflate the foil balloon.
to attach the 260 to the foil balloon. I took the 260 balloon, placed it across the very end of the valve, rolled the balloon up around the 260 all the way up until it touched the body of the balloon, took the two ends of the 260 and tied them together into a double knot. To attach the foil balloon to the column, I centered it right on top of the column, making sure it's nestled down between the latex and metallic balloon. I then took one end of the 260 and wrapped it snugly around the latex balloon and did the same with the other end of the 260, wrapping it around the metallic balloon, securing the foil balloon to the column. Feel free to adjust the placement of the balloons as needed to achieve the desired look. And there you have it. You have successfully created a stunning balloon column that's sure to be the centerpiece of any event. We hope you liked and found this video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe for more DIY tutorials and party inspiration. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And until next time, you guys stay blessed and we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.